position of some of those letters that would be good. So uh, try to think here. I think pariah is like six words. Yeah. What about I know there's no R right there, so that would probably have been silly, but there we go. Um stash there but then two S's feels like a waste. guest I'm trying to do anything to get and like track out the E but I don't want to waste a letter if I can help it but something like ghost or guest would be too bad similar word maybe but maybe not um uh, not imitate immediate no oh, these are way too long words for five little words come on Um, I've thought of like lesson or something along those lines. 
pounds least. But again, I'd be using an A. Maybe I should just take take the chance here and do something that is going to be wasting a word. I'm gonna. I just. I feel like I need to know some of the other letters, so I'm gonna go with guest. Okay. Brilliant. So we know there's a P and H and I and the T in there. So H I T. It's not. Like, it just can't be priest. Can it? No, 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 no. So this. It can't be an H. It's not like a f sound. So it has to be a letter that can come after a P, which, what could, what could come after a P here? I can only think of it being an I. I can't think of it any other, maybe an L, L could come after the P. Uh, maybe a Y. Let's go with L, let's see if L. sense and then rearrange these letters so L H D ah uh, what if it was T H Blith so it could be a T H N Blith is that a word I actually don't know what else did I say Pith Pith doesn't feel right when Y I just doesn't seem like it'd be right Sound like it'd be right. Pifith. Pimth. Uh. What if? Oh, there's no C. I was thinking it could be bitch. But there's no C. Because I've never, I, I don't know what this would be. Biffy. 
it is the only thing I can think of. BIT is in the correct place. H at the end? No, so it must be there. This is so strange. Pithy. Pithub. Pithub. Pithux. Pithus. Letters as well, just to see. Bithy, Bithit, Bithop. No, none of these sound right. Bithk, Bithch, Bithel, Bithel. I don't know what that word is. around this mark, isn't it? Alright. This might be a bit of a shorter one. Oh, look, all the ads are popping back up again. That's brilliant. Um, this might be a bit of a shorter one. But I'm going to probably end by looking up the word pithy uh, and finding out what that is because I have absolutely no clue. So if an ad pops up in the middle of the screen, I don't notice, by the way. When I take them away, the, when you take away the ones on the side, side and the bottom comes on the big one across the screen sometimes because it's like well fuck you for putting the hands away all right pithy i don't know what that word is containing much pith what the hell is that a few things apparently so pithy in the dictionary uh, is of a fruit or plant containing much pith which itself um, is uh, so this is the first definition containing so if something is pithy it contains a lot of pith um, in, in terms of fruit and the pith is the spongy white tissue lining the rind of oranges, lemons, and other citrus foods. So it's that white, like almost like veiny material. The spongy cellular t tissue in the stems and branches of many higher plants. I always thought that that, that bit of the of like an orange or lemon or any of those sort of like. Um, I don't even know really what you call that that family of fruits, but um, those oh, I guess citrus fruits, right? Uh, I always thought it just looked like like uncomfortably like veins and like capillaries. So there you go. That's what pith is. I didn't know that. I learned something new. At least it's not a fucking um, slang word from Australia. At least it's a real word. Okay, that sounds so horrible. But like, I would say the same about like British slang. I put British slang in there, like blood. Be like, really? Maybe that isn't British slang, but it is in my my mind. Um, anyway, uh, so that's the first definition. The second definition is of language or style, terse or vigorously expressive. Is char is is characteristically pithy comments. Interesting. Um, in dictionary.com, however, there is another definition which says uh, brief, uh, be, uh, sorry, brief, forceful, and meaningful in expression, full of vigor, substance, or meaning, test forcibly a pithy observation. So I guess pithy can be used in terms of like being quite um, very, very expressive. Very kind of like, yeah, I guess, terse, expressive, out there, presented. There you go, interesting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this second. I said second word already, I've done tons of these mother f people. Um, yeah, I've done loads of these videos, I don't know why I said second there, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh,
as well anyway. Um, I know we only did one game today, but I'm on a bit of a time crunch and there's this tomorrow. So, unfortunately, it's going to be the short part. I actually don't think it's that bad. It just took me ages to get through that one. But, there we go, guys. Anyway, I'm digressing now. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. So it's good to know what videos you guys enjoy. Um, and uh, feel free to comment on, on you know these videos, any requests, um, any suggestions, etc. Um, I do try to get to them. Uh, sometimes some of the requests require more uh, setup than others, or more forethought. So some of them, if I'm really really busy, I just don't have time to sit down and do it. And you know, ultimately. My time is, is somewhat limited, I guess. Um, so, um, this not being my my uh, my job, my source of income, I have to I have to prioritise that sadly. But I do try my best. Um, that aside, I still like taking the requests, um, regardless of their simplicity. But uh, that aside. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. You've made it this far, you might as well do that. Press the bell icon to be informed of when I upload. And uh, go check out the videos appearing over my head right now, right below me. Oh, look at that crazy, eh? Go check them out. Some awesome other videos on the channel. I'm sure you'll enjoy. In any case, I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.